Good morning, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop, <coughs> excuse me, again. Uh, Saturday morning, there, we're in the spring period. Uh, I'll take the opportunity to say, stay safe everybody in uh, South and North America uh, with these hurricanes wandering around there with uh, aimlessly. Uh, hopefully everybody gets through it okay. We're not uh, with the least amount of damage, it's part of our life. It happens here in Australia as well with the... Um, uh, where well, we have the cyclonic season, which will come up in a month or two's time in the northern part, across the northern parts of Australia. So it's not, it's not uncommon. Uh, fires in the, uh, in California, on, on the other side of the, uh, on the western side of the US. So uh, it's all part of life that we live in, and, and um, these natural disasters uh, can happen, and they do happen, and... Um, the disaster part of it is the fact that man's put something in its way, but anyway, that's all. We're here and we're, we're doing it. So, what we've got today is uh, we want to show you a setup we've come up with after spending a fair bit of time thinking about it and uh, wanting to avoid doing a four jaw chuck uh, job every single time, setting up one after another. We've, we've only got a run of ten items, four, five of one size and five of the other, but it still there's a lot of uh, a lot of setup time uh, involved and so forth. So, what we have um, is these flanges. Now these are part of a test kit, and these flanges I've had water water jet cut with um, the right size hole on the outside where the two bolts are going to go, and just a pilot hole in the centre. Um, and so what I have to do with those is I have to produce. I have. To I have to produce a counterbore in here, inside there for an O-ring. So what I've had to do is to face off uh, to depth, to face off and to produce this plug, and then um, then after that, counterbore it in for the O-ring, uh, for the seal, and then later on I'll be drilling that and tapping it to the suitable uh, adapter that we're using for the test uh, operation. So that that adapter is. Is another is another item I'm making. Um, uh, there's all different ones, but I, I just take a blank uh, hex bar and I drill it, drill at the other end, tap it, machine it down, and there's all different sizes and diameters here um, and here that that's needed. Um, so this particular particular one um, is a. a an, M, an M16, I've been making these for quite some years now. And then I also make up this kit um, that that connects onto it. Hang on. Connects onto it. Sometimes it's used with the flange, sometimes without the flange. Uh, and so that kit then will will screw on, on here and and that's uh, that gives them the, the pressure. So it's got a, a shred a Schrader end on here where they can use a little um, uh, controlled pressure because it's very low pressure for testing the, the pumps. So that's that's those little bits and I've got two sizes as I said I've got the, the, the smaller and the larger one. So in order to go about um, machining these I, um, I've made up, I'll just turn the camera down, I, what I did was I come up with a plate with a, a, a tap thread in the centre and using uh, just two um, Allen screws and this one particular, this one here is an M6 uh, that fits into the into the hole there so by bolting the hole, bolting through here onto the plate and having that uh, little, little screw there that works as a dog just in case it moves and then I could machine uh, both facets using two tools so I'm going to I'm going to show you that setup, and uh, and we'll run one. Now what I'm using is um, I'm, I'm I'm doing the main facing uh, with this tool, and um, what I'm doing is I use I use these. Um, this is the brand doesn't matter, but that type of of, of cutter, which has um, got a very high rake. Um, got a, quite a high rake in it and it, uh, it works very well in stainless and, and uh, in aluminium 
and plastic as well. Uh, I have others, shinier ones, you know, some uh, for very um, high finishing and so forth, but uh, in this case, that's fine. And then the, the counterboring I do um, with this uh, face groover. And this particular face groover is good from 40 diameter to 60 diameter. Now, and these, these are replaceable heads that you can uh, change out as you need them. And funnily enough, I'm, I'm over 40 diameter uh, working in here and I found it was just touching at the bottom. I had to grind a little bit off there, so there you go. Even the best of the tools sometimes can, can uh, try and trick you up. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how, how I mount it and, and how I go about machining it. <coughs> now, I dropped something down here. It's in amongst the fluff. So I'll have to um, find it, which I did. And we'll go about uh, doing this. Uh, doing this work. There might be a little bit of shake in the um, in the camera, it's on the um, it's on the tailstock. Um, now what we're going to do, we're going to mount that one, bring that camera down so you can actually see, I'll bring it in a bit, bring it down a bit more so you'll be able to now see uh, how that goes about. So what I've done is I've just taken a, a drop flange these are, these are holes out of larger flanges which I buy and I've got a, a swag of them. Just machined the face off a little bit, tapped a 10mm hole in the centre here um, and tapped two holes here for dogs uh, for holding on the thing. So I put the flange on, um, screw it up. You probably could have done without the dog but you know just uh, I suppose the belt on braces etc and whatever. Um, and I'll just tighten that up a little bit. We're running at, uh, how much are we running at? 8, 850, um, 850 RPM. I love these. I love them because I don't, I, I don't need to have handles sticking out all over the place. I hate them. I, I just take the, pull the handle off. You can't quite see that, but um, just slide that over. Yeah, so you know it's just it's such an easy tool to operate. Bring it in, drop it every nine degrees. You've got to set, lock it up. The multi heads, as they're called, um, and come back over over here. Um, I'll bring that around a fraction. Let's see how that goes. Just so it's all nice and tight. Um, turn the, the lathe on, and uh, we've got. We've got uh, on the um, on the cross slide. We've got our instructions. Throw a bit of kerosene on just to make a nice finish.
Right, a bit more camo. Back into it. Job done. So when we finish these uh, these five, then we'll we'll take that dog out and we'll put the smaller dog in, um, and uh, and then we'll go on to the next action that we have to have to do, um, which will be uh, threading, th tapping, threading the. Um, that set a hole, and we'll put the, these will all go into a tumbler to give them a bit of a clean up anyway. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, uh, I'm, I'm selling these, um, uh, these gear indicators and they're available, you can get onto my uh, um, uh, send me an email or uh, or, or through my uh, Facebook or, or web page um, and uh, much appreciate that it works as a bottle opener as well and this is um, uh, this one here is a diametrical pitch I've got uh, another one we're now <coughs> getting close to production with metric and I'm also looking at making some additional <coughs> excuse me again um, making some other another one on here for more for automotive uh, style as well. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and everybody go safe on this uh, weekend. Thank you.